and they're off. So the finale is underway and very slow to begin was the mayor Salita who was very restless in the prelims. Guard 4 and Croco Bay and also and Bel Romain will lead them over the first and all 24 are over safely as they charge on towards the second with Rock the World on the inside of also up there and Bel Romain, Croco Bay sizing platinum towards the near side. Salita made a mistake at the back of the field and they race on now towards the third with Croco Bay out in front to guard 4 against the far side rail. Also right up there is Velvet Maker. He's now racing in third. Sizing Platinum towards the outside of Ultra Gold and then the Inval. Out wide is Bright New Dawn as they go over that. Um, Bar Romain made a very bad mistake. His rider called a cab. Now Epsilon Blur is the back marker and they go on towards the fourth with Velvet Maker and Croco Bay the first two. Sizing Platinum was over in third. A mistake there by the former champion chaser dodging bullets who hit that one pretty hard. So it's Croco Bay and Velvet Maker the first first two. Last year's winner, Solar Impulse, now into third. Sizing Platinum in fourth. Guard four is racing in fifth. And then the Inval is in sixth. Ultra Gold's racing in seventh. Bright New Dawn on the outside is in eighth. Followed then on the inside by the grey Mick Thonic, who's racing in ninth. East Lake is in tenth. Le Presien is in eleventh. Quite by chance, is twelfth towards the outside. Then Dandridge and Umber Romain as they go over the first fence taken down the back. Absalon Bleu was very slow and sticky over it. Also towards the rear is the game changer. So too is Calypto as they go on now towards the water jump. As they take it, Croco Bay just had the lead over the water or the leaders jumped it safely. Again very sticky at the back of the field was Absalon Bleu who hasn't got his jumping boots on today. They go now towards the open ditch. Croco Bay had a coming together with his nearest pursuer Velvet Maker over that open ditch but they're over safely with Solar Impulse out very wide. Bright new dawn witnessing court is now creeping a little closer with guard four through on the inside, then McThonic. McThonic's then being followed by the Inval and Ultra Gold Le Presien sizing platinum. Quite by chance has lost ground. Towards the inside is Dandridge. Dandridge being followed next as they go over the next by pair of brown eyes. All the leaders jumped it well. Another slow jump by Umbo Romain. Calypto in the green cap is also now coming under a ride. So they climb now towards the top of the hill and it's Croco Bay and Keeneland Woods out in front but he jumped right-handed at that uphill fence again. The leaders all cleared it well and Beau Romain is tailing off. Epsilon Blur is also tailed off as they take the turn now on towards the fourth from home and slightly squeezed up on the inside rail was Mick Thonic. So they go towards four out and it's Croco Bay who jumps it really well. Witnessing Court took it in second. A bad mistake by dodging bullets. Also Mr. 51 wasn't too fluent. Being eased at the back of the field is the Mayor Salita as they come down the hill towards three out in the Johnny Henderson Grand Annual. It's Croco Bay, guard four on the inside, witnessing court towards the outside, and then the Inval still got every chance. Velvet Maker just in behind them. The Presien is trying to creep into it as now they're about to make the turn with two more to take, and it is now Bright New Dawn and Croco Bay who are the first two. The Inval followed by East Lake, the top weight on the inside, guard four. He's racing in fifth position. The white colours staying on is Rot the World, then Le Presien towards the outside, Ultra Gold, and then Dandridge picking up towards the inside. Guard four right on the inside rail. Jumps in front of Croco Bay. The Inval East Lake. Rock the world. Danridge. They're all in the firing line as they race down towards the final fence of the Grand Annual. And it is Rock the World on the outside. And Rock the World shakes the world and takes the lead for Jesse Harrington and Robbie Power. They're out in front now to Guard four in second. The Inval is back in third. Danridge is back in fourth. It is Rock the World out in front. It just had to be for Jesse Harrington. Harrington and for Robbie Power. It's their day today and rock the world, rocks Cheltenham and takes the grand annual. The perfect punctuation point for a wonderful week for Jesse Harrington and Robbie Power. Three winners spearheaded by sizing John in the Gold Cup and they round it all off with a Michael Buckley own rock the world who has landed a small gamble here at odds of 10 to 1. Robbie Power 3, Jessica Harrington 3, Ireland 19 of the 28 races run at the Cheltenham Festival and this horse who was quietly fancied for the race last year has come back 12 months later and has won really quite easily. Lots had their chance in this race. Bright New Dawn and Croco Bay led them into the straight. The Inval went well.